Hey there, this is Scott with Rendell Certified Cleaning Services. We've had a lot of broken pipes because of the cold weather out. What happens is the pipes will actually expand when it freezes and when it thaws, it shrinks back down. The ice pushes it out, splits a line, and then when it thaws, it comes back down to regular size, leaving a gap there, a cut in the, in the piping itself. So we've actually been out on several um, hot water tanks that were broken. Let's see, baseboard heat recently. So there's just all kinds of broken pipes out there. We'll be glad to help you. I'll show you how we do this really quickly. This is only going to be a very short video. What we do is come out and address the total situation first because water tends to travel. As a matter of fact, if you look at this wall, it looks dry. A lot of consumers look at a wall and they say, oh, it looks dry to me. But unfortunately, this is able to hide a bunch of moisture, as you're going to see in just a second. We use this thermal camera and this is called a infrared camera and what it does is it detects uh, heat differentials. If we start up here we can see that well when I touch it it actually leaves a it leaves red marks because it's warmer. As I move it down towards the baseboard we can see that it looks a, a different color there so we suspect there might be some issues you know right about here downwards towards the baseboard. So we've looked at the entire structure. Let's say that we see this band of purplish blue area. We're going to confirm that with a what's called a, a non-destructive moisture sensor. And that's what this device does. We set it to zero and this has little pickups on the back that will tell us when it shorts out or when it gets to a certain moisture content it will tell us what that moisture content is. It measures approximately a half inch deep so the sensors will actually penetrate the material non-destructively. There's no pins so we won't leave holes in your drywall. And we start on areas that we suspect are dry first and we confirm that we're looking at 5.3, 5.5 moisture content up here in an area that didn't show that it possibly was wet with the FLIR device. As we move it down we can start seeing it rise and right now I, the light on it comes and goes um, right now it's at 17, 20, 21, 22, 23 so this whole area seems to be wet from water because this is just a mock-up wall we're able to flip it around and take a look at the back side and we can see that sure enough this whole area is wet just like the FLIR camera showed us and just like our sensor showed us. As water dries it tries to find equilibrium so it's going to go from wet to dry, it's going to creep up, we call that wicking. Even if it's wet just a little bit on the drywall it'll start to find its way up. Now, it's not uncommon to find drywall wet a foot several feet up from where the source happened depending on the amount of moisture. So our first test is to inspect it and find out what's wet and then after we've completely drawn a map of the wet areas then we address the areas that need to be dried. Obviously on this one this part of the drywall needs to be dry and if there was insulation back here this one doesn't but if there was insulation we'd have to address the wet insulation as well and also the baseboard. Typically what we do in this situation is pull the baseboard off we drill inspection holes underneath the baseboard line and see what kind of insulation if there is any and dry it from there. If it does have insulation we might have to get a little bit more aggressive. If it doesn't have insulation we can just literally cut holes there and use dehumidification with professional large dryers and air movement to dry this drywall very quickly without having to tear the whole wall down or even part of the wall. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you know, you really should though, if you suspect that you've had an, odor, an, an issue of water damage, usually it starts, if you don't see it, it'll start smelling within a few days. So you'll have kind of a, a dirty sock odor. And you can't, you touch stuff, you know, it feels, feels dry and you're, you're looking at it and you don't know what's going on. The carpet feels dry. Well, it's probably because you have pocketed moisture. So give us a call. The uh, inspection is very inexpensive. 
we'll come out, take a look at it, and address what we need to do. But uh, just know that we're here for you.